Good morning everyone and welcome to our Rhapsody reading. Today is the 5th of November and our title is You Came for a Purpose. Our shouting scripture is from Ephesians 2 verse 10 and it reads, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Pastor Chris says, God has a purpose for your life. He has a purpose for everything that he does. In John 10 verse 10, Jesus said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. 1 John 3 verse 8 says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the evil. Then in Luke 19 verse 10 he said, The Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. His purpose was clear. He came to do the will of the Father. Understand, you were born for a purpose. You came to do the will of your your heavenly Father. Hallelujah. In Acts 26, we read about Saul of of Tysus who on his way to Damascus had an encounter with the Lord. The Lord called him by name and said, I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness. Acts 26 verse 16 God doesn't do anything without a purpose. The reason he appeared to Saul, who later became Paul, was to make him a minister and a witness so that he, Paul, would take the gospel to the Gentiles. Acts 26 verse 17 Have you discovered your purpose? Do you know why you were born? If you haven't found out, you can do that today. Be bold to ask the Lord. He will tell you. He will guide you to that purpose. As you walk with them, and do the things he's called you to do. You weren't born for nothing. You were born for the glory of God. You were born to walk with him and bring him honor. He planned from the beginning that you'd serve him and live unto Christ. Let that purpose become established in your heart and you experience tremendous growth and success in your life and in all that you do. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You may kindly repeat the confession after me. Say, I'm in the world at such a time as this. For a purpose. Living the life that God prearranged for me. Before the foundation of the world. He planned that I'd serve him and live for him. And that through me, his righteousness would be established in the earth and in the hearts of men. I'm fulfilling this purpose daily in Jesus' name. Amen. And for further study, you may read. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 and Colossians 4 verse 17. Have a wonderful day and see you again tomorrow with another Rhapsody reading. God bless you.